Uh, I'm Eric Palm. I'm one of the product managers at Pivotal, working at Cloud Foundry. And uh, this is uh, John from Comcast. He's uh, one of the application developers. So we're your track co-chairs. Uh, we want to thank you very much for attending. Uh, we know there's a lot of interesting tracks, so we appreciate your attention. And certainly if you have any feedback about the talks or the track itself, um, it would be great if you could provide that in the survey that the foundation emailed out earlier this week. Um, maybe even get a chance to uh, win a free ticket to an upcoming summit if you fill that out. Anyway, uh, thanks again, John, if you me. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Eric. Um, first of all, thank you everyone who submitted an article for this, this year's track talks. Uh, Eric and I went through about 100 of them, and they were all so very well written. So we had a really hard time picking out this year's lineup. I think this year's lineup has a good selection of topics. These topics, I think, they'll appeal to you whether you've just started with Cloud Foundry or you've been developing and deploying to Cloud Foundry for several years. One of the common themes in this year's topic is continuous integration. Um, in my shop, we use continuous integration, and I'm sure in most of your shops you use it. But we always are curious in, in, as to how to make our continuous integration function better, how to be more efficient, and how to save time. So there's a few talks this year on using metrics as gating criteria for continuous integration. I think that'll be really cool to see. Um, there's also a talk on what not to do in your concourse pipeline. I think that'll also be very interesting. Um, security is also a very uh, important topic as well. We all want to deploy secure applications to Cloud Foundry, but we want to avoid the cost of having to do all the heavy lifting to get to that point. There's an interesting talk today on using, um, on, on actually baking in um, cloud principles within your software development lifecycle. And there's also a talk, on, there's also a talk that will highlight the use of a, a free tool to scan and analyze your code. Um, also, debugging is, a, is an important topic as well. Once your code is in production, you want to make sure it's running fine. And you want to know when, it's, when there's an issue before your customers or end users find out about it. There's actually a talk today also about um, leveraging an open source tool to detect anomalies and know about the issues before they happen. And we also have a talk lined up about how to debug applications within Cloud Foundry. So I think this year we have some really interesting talks lined up, and I hope you enjoy these talks. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks again for attending, and uh, we'll kick things off by uh, hearing about using Spinnaker and its integrations with Cloud Foundry.